So you're here with me today on part two of our shop container build. So behind me, we've got our two containers and we are starting to prep them for paint. So today, Tom is pressure washing. So before we paint our shipping containers, we're gonna get them pressure washed. And you can get about as crazy as you want with preparing to paint these things. Um, you can get all, all uh, obsessive about removing every sticker, be a lot of work. We're here on a farm. We are not making this to impress anybody. So we're probably gonna leave most of the stickers on, pull off the obvious ones, but uh, Tom's getting ready to pressure wash. We wanna do that before we paint and uh, then we'll get painting. Good morning! It's day two of painting our shipping containers here at Homestead with Blue Sky Ranch. So last night, I, um, I didn't take the time to video, but I went ahead and I wire brushed a lot of the rust spots on the containers and I scraped stickers with a scraper. The wire brush worked amazing on surface rust. I'll show you an example of that. And um, Tom pressure washed. And while he was pressure washing, he actually could say he smelt the seawater coming off the shipping containers. So you do want to make sure you pressure wash your container before you paint it because as you can imagine, these ones are from 2008. They've been sitting at sea back and forth for, that's 15 years. And we want to make sure they have the longest life possible with us not resting. And so we're putting on today we were going to paint the outside, but it's too windy. As you can see, my hair is blowing. So we have shifted gears. We're gonna go ahead and paint the insides instead. So we're working inside today and we um, have a little bit of sticky glue stuff. You can see it shiny on the back. So we need to clean that off with acetone. And then next, we have some crazy barn swallows that live here on our property. And the doors were literally open for half a day and they're already putting I'll show you up here they're they're already putting mud to make a nest right here
So as you've seen, I went ahead, I cleaned off the sticker residue the best I could with my sander. It actually was all throughout the container where they'd use some type of packing tape. I've swept in here, laid down the drop cloth. Let's go check out Tom. He's doing the paint. All right, here's Tom here. He's been setting up our nicely borrowed sprayer. Thank you, Doug. From his brother. And we are using... Some pretty old paint. We're going to tell you that we're going a little cheap on the inside. We had two five-gallon buckets of paint that had never been opened that are exterior Sherman Williams. And we're going to go ahead and use those on the inside. They're not they're not white. They're beige, but we're saving about $500. Yep. yep. So, and so what we've done here is <clears throat> we're using a, a Graco Magnum X7 uh, airless sprayer. And it was primed with water. I've deprimed it. <clears throat> and now I've uh, put it in paint and we've primed it now with paint. So, uh, and I've also what's called, uh, uh, my brother told me is to box the paint. So we put a half gallon in with the, uh, the five gallons and then poured the two buckets back and forth about four or five times. Kind of heavy. Kind of to thin it out so it sprays yeah. better, right? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. So then we, <laughs> there goes the microphone almost into the paint with paint on it hey i'm glad they're cheap sorry if the audio is now scritchy but yeah so now now we got paint we All got right. paint coming out we got paint so now we're gonna paint the inside of our shipping container so yep. now i'll put the uh now i'm gonna put a number uh 515 tip in there and we'll see how that does Okay, and there's Coco over there. There are bunnies <coughs> underneath our VersaTube building that we're going to be putting up next in part three. And uh, she's highly entertained. Yeah. Whoa, Nelly, that is red. Woo! Hello, Tom. Hello. How's it going? I am blinded by the redness. I am blinded by the redness. Oh, well, red is red. <laughs> this is what we got at Home Depot. It's, it's, called, it's called No Drama. No Drama Red. It's I feel like it might be quite useful to paint the town red. Yeah, paint the town red for sure. It looks like a safety red. I came home from shopping and Tom has already painted one side. Look at that. Go Tom. And we're going from rusty red to no drama red. That is bright. Thank you all for watching our part two of painting our shipping containers. Stay tuned for part three, where we start to erect our VersaTube building. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.